y'all welcome to lighthearted life and collectibles my channel is about my life and what I love to collect which is dolls so if you like life and dolls life like dolls or maybe dolls of your life then stick around smash that subscribe button don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back my friends on this channel my friends and I love to promote love and kindness so please be lovely and kind to everyone everywhere but especially in the comment section below let's get into today's video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you all the little details of my new moses basket i've got everly standing over here beside it she looks so cute she's like the protective big sister of the whole nursery <laughs> but this moses basket i have it sitting on the platform to an old bassinet that I had and the little wooden part in the bottom broke so it was no longer safe. So I decided to just get rid of that and I'm gonna use this platform for my Moses basket. Now right now it does not match, but I'm gonna get some fabric paint to paint that underneath where it's gray. I'm gonna paint it the mocha color and then I'm gonna paint the rubber tips mocha color and then the gray part is going to be white i think it'll look better white i mean it could look okay once i put the mocha colors on there and i may leave it but if i'm not satisfied and i want to tie it in with all the white that's on the basket then i'll just do that but this is the details of the basket it's a really nice basket i got this from ameripod because everywhere that i looked on amazon and all the other places that had been carrying this were completely out like it would show it and then when you would try to put it in your cart it would say sorry this item is sold out so i was really happy to find it on ameripod so if you've been looking for one and you're having trouble finding one ameripod does have them and they have the mocha color and they also have the like tan colored wicker and they have a multitude of these colors so they've got like the white like this and they have sage and yellow blue and pink I think and the blue and pink are gingham like this one is just solid so what it is it has this hood that velcros on you can see it has velcro here and velcro here so you can either leave the hood on or take it off it's about the size of your average baby bassinet as you can see because it fits really good onto this platform that was made for a bassinet that was detachable so it has the little hood on top has a nice little arch but it doesn't cover the face of the baby especially if you have them down lower like you can still see in the bassinet the bassinet is not extremely deep or the moses basket is not a bassinet but the moses basket is probably i would say about nine inches deep and approximately probably two and a half feet in length so a really nice size and she is a 17 inch full body silicone baby and you can see she has plenty of room in it but of course the bigger the baby the less room they're going to have and i will show you what a 21 inch baby looks like i have paul silas sitting over there so i'm going to grab him in just a minute and i will show you what he will look like in it but it comes with this little ruffle and it's it's actually like um like a dust ruffle for a bed so it has a bottom so the bottom part of it lays in the bottom of the basket because underneath it's just all basket like this so um what you do is you lay this down first it's got a little bit of padding in the sides not a whole lot but just a little and it has this really nice little ruffle all the way around with eyelet material that's shaped like flowers. And then you have your cushion. And your cushion is just your standard 
white. It's water resistant. It's made out of that um, like a plasticky feel material with feels like just batting in the middle. And then you've got your white sheet that's going to fit over. It's a fitted sheet. So once you get this placed in there, then you just put the fitted sheet onto your mattress and then you put the mattress in there. And the hood is as easy as just sticking it on with the Velcro. It's already got the little ribbons tied and everything. This, you will have to tie the ribbons. Like when you attach it, you just tie it all the way around in the places that you like. I tied it so that my lace would kind of stick up. So if you want the lace to kind of stick up a little, like I've got mine, you would tie your ties just a little closer together so it would bunch up. But if you want, them to, you want it to lay flat, you would bring this over and see it would lay flat like that. But I wanted mine to be like that. It's a really nice quality. I mean, this, this would last a really long time. This would be great to use with a real baby, actually. But I've wanted one of these for a really, really long time with my reborn babies. It's just one of those things. You know how it is when you collect these dolls and you have these dream accessories that you want. And I've wanted one for quite some time. And I finally found the perfect one. Because all the ones I would find wouldn't have the little hood on it. And I really wanted the hood. And the ones that did have the hood were like way out of what I was willing to pay. <laughs> so I was so happy to come across these and find these particular Moses baskets because they are very affordable. And yeah, I mean, they're going to last a really long time, especially if you're just using them with your dolls. But I feel like it would last a really long time if you were using it with a real baby also. They do have like a limited, I think it's a 30 day guarantee. I guess if like it were, would start to pull apart or something like that, they would replace it for you. But it's limited as in like, if you were to purposely tear it up, you know, they, they're not gonna replace it for that, in a, that instance. But it's very, very nice. I really love all the detail that goes into it. It's got a white ribbon that's wrapped all the way around the edge of the hood and it's tied in three places. So it's tied at the bottoms on each side and in the middle. And I think it just adds the perfect pop of color when you have the white against the mocha. I just love this combination. And also I like the fact that I can use this with whatever gender baby. You know, if I had chosen pink, which I know colors are not gender specific, but just as a whole, as a society, you know, people are like, oh, pink are for girls and blue is for boys. And I didn't want to do sage because I'm just not a huge fan of like sage green. And I like yellow okay, but once again, I kind of wanted something even more neutral. And so white was even better. They did have a tan. I forgot to mention they had a tan color, but I thought that might make the basket too dark. And so I figured the white inside the mocha would be the perfect combo. And I really think it is because when I'm doing video as in right now, or when I'm taking a picture, you can really see her really well inside the basket. So I'm going to take sailor out and i'm going to show you what paul silas looks like inside the moses basket because he is a 21 inch doll he is ephraim by melody hess just so you can see what a bigger baby would look like in the moses basket okay so here paul silas is inside the basket you can see he takes up a lot of room in it but once again he's a bigger baby and moses baskets are usually designed for newborn babies and babies who are not able to sit up yet so technically, he's like a zero to three month size, so he would not be sitting up. So he would still be appropriate for this basket if he were a real baby. But I think he looks really cute in it. So there's the bigger baby. I mean, he still has room at the top. Let me move this little puppy. So see, there's still room at the top. So you could go with a little bit bigger baby than him. So yeah, that is Paul Silas in the Moses basket. And just for even more of a comparison of what size baby you can put in this Moses basket, here's Isadora, and she's a 24-inch baby. She is Rocky by Sylvia Manning, and she's a pretty good-sized girl. And so you see that even she fits in it. However, I probably wouldn't go much bigger than her <laughs> because she's uh, she's pretty stuffed in there. Like, And I know she does have one outstretched leg, so if she had both legs bent, she would have a little bit more room. So there's Miss Smiley Isadora in there. Like I said, she's a 24 inch baby. So yeah, I mean, technically you could still use this with a 24 inch doll if you didn't want to buy like a full size bed 
or something like that. I mean, these are relatively cheap when you're when you're talking about buying bedding. It comes with everything. You know, everything that you see here comes with the Moses basket. And it's very lightweight. I showed you on the last video when I showed this basket how easy it was to pick it up with one hand. I mean, you just take the little handles and it can just lift right up and it's very, very lightweight. So basically, you'd only be picking up the weight of your baby plus the few ounces, I'm sure, that this basket weighs because it's super light. So, yeah, just for... Just for some giggles, let's put Archer in there and see what Big Boy looks like in it. Okay, so here's 26 inch Archer. He is the 11 month Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles. And you can see he is head to toe in this. So yeah, about a 24 inch baby is about all you would be able to get by with in here because he is pretty stuffed in there. <laughs> Plus he's, he's just a chubby boy. So, so I take up more room. But yeah, that is what he would look like in there, what he does look like in there. <laughs> so yeah, um, Archer won't be using the uh, Moses basket. <laughs> so that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the little close-up details of the basket. I'll give you one more go around with no baby in there. But it's, it's very beautiful and elegant. I love everything about it. And once I get this stand the color I want it to be, then everything will just be perfect with it. I mean, everything's perfect with the Moses basket anyway. But when I get this stand how I want it to look, like I said, I may leave the metal part gray. But I don't think so. I think I'm going to go with the white. So yeah, once I get that completed, I'll show it to you again and show you how it looks. So you guys can enjoy the final effect with me thank you so much for watching everybody i hope you have a great day be happy and be blessed bye